morning everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be a vlog, a casual vlog. We are not traveling today. So Larry is currently getting dressed and ready for the day and we are heading off to just run out the door for a few errands and then we're just gonna come back. Hi Lexi! And I want to find a fall wreath. Somehow, I don't know, sorry this angle is so weird, but we're outside and I don't have anything to like. <laughs> <laughs> prop this on properly unless I hold it like this. I guess I should hold it. Um, but my fall wreath from last year is MIA. So I am going to hunt down a fall wreath. I've looked everywhere in the house, cannot find it. Sorry, there's a motorcycle. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be finding a new one of those. And then I wanted to share something with you guys that is just gorgeous. And it's this new filter that I found. I actually found it through Zoe Sug. I watch her videos and she mentioned a new filter and I have been on the hunt for an Instagram filter forever to make your feed look very fall-like. I've been looking for two months and I really haven't been able to find one and then I finally found it. So it's in the app A Color Story and I did end up purchasing the filter and it's the filter Harvest Moon. And I shared a photo over on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me over there, definitely do so because I, that's where I kind of like post all the information first. Um, and then it ends up showing up in the vlogs. But I did like a before and after and it was insane. So let me show you the before and after of this picture. So, so it's just a lot more warm toned and orange tones and I love it. It's what I've been looking for for a long time and I'm very happy about it. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me where this shirt is from, this one that I'm wearing here. It's actually like a kimono or a cover-up. It's from Kohl's. That's where I got that. And then shirt is also from Kohl's. My shorts, they're floral. I don't even know where they're from. Where are these from? I'm not sure. But I went for some fall booties today. Check them out. I love them. So they're kind of like a brown suede. I've had them for years. I don't even know where I got them. They're quite old, but super cute. So our um, Hollywood trip, I'm gonna be able to share some details with you guys very soon. On October 7th is when I'll be able to share those details with you guys, with you guys which is actually the day before my birthday. So that is really exciting, let me see. October 7th is on a Monday, so it's on a regular scheduled upload day, so that's great. So I will be able to reveal why we were on Hollywood October 7th. So stay tuned for that because, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, yeah, really crazy. What are you doing down there? Are you listening to me? What's he doing, babies? I forgot, I wanna insert a time-lapse story of me doing my makeup this morning. So I'm gonna insert that right now. It was filmed on the new iPhone, which I am loving, so I'm gonna insert that footage right now. So I just got home with Larry and I left my vlogging camera at the house So I didn't have it with me to take but I did just stop at the P.O. box So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things. I'm not gonna unbox them. Oh that lighting's weird But I'm just gonna show you guys so I have something from Yankee Candle Or from somebody who sent something to me from Yankee Candle. So thank you And then I noticed I have a few packages that are not to be opened until my birthday, which is so cute and so sweet. This one, I don't wanna show anybody's names or address. So that one I'm not supposed to open. And then this box does have an address on it, so I'll cover it. Did come all the way from Australia. Also have this one, which is not supposed to be open till the birthday. This package I believe I can open when I So, that's exciting. Is that exciting? Remind everyone that we still have some left over from the last time. So if you don't see, if you didn't see yours 
on the last video and you don't see yours here, we do have some more that we have to open. Yes. What Larry said. I didn't want to move the com the computer. The um what's this thing called? The camera away from Lexi because she was using it. But I also went grocery shopping yesterday. Oh, I'm tired. And I want to show you guys a few things that we got. I know it's not like a fresh grocery haul from today, but it was just yesterday. We should let Lexi Kitty out. There you go, pumpkin. Okay. So I showed you guys on Instagram, but for those of you who do not have an Instagram, oh my goodness. Okay. So, honey crisp apples are my absolute favorite apple in the world. And then I always get the caramel dip. Well, not always, but every fall. It's like a tradition. Larry and I have caramel apples. So good. Then I found these. They're the pumpkin muffins. <gasps> Yummy. And then, of course, a pumpkin roll. I have them all in plastic bags just to keep them fresher longer just because it is humid in Florida still, even though we have the air on. This is the pumpkin roll with the buttercream filling. And then Larry picked these ones out. They're the original decadent pumpkin bar. Then for dinner, we did make chili, which was really good. And a lot of people were asking the recipe for that because I posted a picture. So I'll run through the recipe with you guys, but I also wanted to mention, you guys know I love my coffee. I found a new creamer. This one I have never used before. It says it's new. It's the Frosted Gingerbread by Coffee Mate. I love their peppermint mocha and their pumpkin spice, but this one was really good too. I have tried it a few times. I can confirm that it is in fact good. Love it. Um, what else did we get that would be interesting for you guys in the fridge? Oh, this is cute and traditional. Is that your phone or is that the lawnmower outside? No, that's my phone. Oh, Larry's playing Wizard Unite on his phone right now. But these, do you guys have these pumpkin sugar cookies by Pillsbury ready to bake? They're the shape sugar cookies. They're so good. It's been a tradition ever since Larry and I started dating. Um, we would pick those up at the store, either for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, any holiday, we always get those. Oh, my not so healthy naughty treat. Publix has the best buffalo chicken dip. Super good, so I got that too. I think that's really about it. Jar of pickles, I mean basic stuff. They had some really exciting ice cream flavors out but I didn't get any. So I was trying to be good because I already got all of those pumpkin treats. I really didn't want to add ice cream to that. So I'll explain to you guys. Let me make my little coffee section all cute. chili two different ways. There's Larry's version of chili and then there's my version of chili. Larry, do you want to come tell them your version in case they're new to the channel? I think we've already gone over this, but I had a lot of people asking me about it on Instagram. So we're just going to tell you how we make our chili. So how do you make yours? Reveal your secrets. Oh, again with your head being chopped I have to out. back up. Hello. Yeah, mine is very simple. It's a pound of ground meat and we ground it in the pan. And then I add Hunt's tomato sauce, two cans? Yeah, two cans are one of the big cans. Yes. And then while it simmers, I spoon in the chili powder. And if it needs to be thickened, I'll thicken it with American cheese. But otherwise, I just let it simmer until it's ready to eat. And that's Isn't it. Isn't that cute? Very boring. <laughs> it's good, though. You like it. So that's yes. what you like, and that's good for you. So my chili, I make two different kinds sometimes. Sometimes I make meatless chili, uh, so then it would be all beans, and sometimes I would make the meat. So if we're gonna have meat chili, the first thing I would do is put olive oil in the bottom of the pan, heat that up a little bit, and then what I do is I add my ground beef, and I always get us the, the low fat, like the really high, what's that called? Like it's like, 90% or 95% mm. it's like the super lean one I always go for the leanest meat so I get that brown it in the pan and then this is what like while it's browning I add or I'm starting to chop I should say I'm chopping my green onion onion and lately I've been adding mushrooms that's really good I love mushrooms you're killing me back there <laughs> mushrooms okay so wait green onion 
No, it's not a green onion, it's a green pepper. Green, green pepper. pepper, onion. I'm missing a vegetable. Green Here onion, I am. pepper. You're not a vegetable. Green onion, pepper. Is that it? And I guess I just put the mushrooms in it. Oh, I know why I'm thinking I'm missing something. Because then, after we mix the vegetables in with the meat and cook them down a little bit. Now, if you weren't going to add meat, you would just saute your green pepper, your onion, and your mushrooms in the pan with the olive oil. I'm a hand talker. Larry always teases me. That's why he's back here doing that. And then, and then after that, I add my beans. Last night, I only did black beans, but sometimes I'll add half a can of black beans and then half a can of kidney beans. Now, the amount that you're using also depends on your family, like how many people you're cooking for. I'm only cooking for one, so I would use... I just used one can of black beans and then that gives me leftovers for like three days, honestly. So then I add one can of tomato sauce, then like a, a big handful can you maybe, of cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes in my chili. Then, I wonder if this is really boring for you guys because you're not actually cooking it. Then I add spaghetti sauce. That's the secret. Like I add half a jar of spaghetti sauce to my chili and then I just let it simmer. Then I add my hot sauce at the end and then cheddar cheese and sometimes I'll add sour cream. So that's kind of how we do it. Mm -hmm. What's she doing, babies? What's she doing? Wanna say hi? She wants to say hi. Oh my! You tell them. Say hello. Oh, you're so cute. Was that her? Yeah. What the heck was that, Lexi? What's the squeaker meow? Such a squeak. I know. Oh, you're raspy. I know. I know. Oh my goodness. We're so naughty. We're going to see Downton Abbey finally. I'm so excited. <sighs> tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Do you know I've heard it is the number one movie in America right now. That's incredible. I'm so proud of them and so excited for them. Just sticking this. It's, it's a very like casual vlogging style. Like this just getting thrown in weird places. Hey, if it works. If it works. I feel like this video today is going to be super short. It's a tough call. Why? You, you want to try and please as many people as you can, but some people comment they don't like the at-home videos, so we never go anywhere, and then we try and go places, and some people comment that they don't like it when we go places, they prefer we stay home. I know, yeah. I think, I don't know, like... Maybe I'll ask you guys, like, what which vlogs do you like better? I'm going to do both regardless. Like, either way, I'm going to do both. But I do wonder, because when I was doing the at-home vlogs, people were saying that, well, I shouldn't say people, but so. some would say that, you know, it's predictable. You're just at home all the time making coffee. I understand not everybody's life is exciting. And I, I told them, I said, well, things are going to get a little crazy in the next couple of months, a little travel busy. But, um, yeah, do you guys like the travel vlogs better or do you prefer the stay at home kind of like daily chill vlogs like this where we're just like casually sitting at home talking to you guys in a very weird angle? Ah, phone ringing. Phone ringing. Is that yours or mine? Uh, if it's mine, it's in my purse. It's yeah. probably pizza. I've been trying out a new skincare product. I've actually been using it for about two months. And I stopped talking about skincare. We're about to go in the bedroom, so it's dark. Because nothing was really working. And I am on medication, though, for it. It's like spirlactonin, whoa. <laughs> spirlactonin or something. I am taking that, so it has helped a lot. It's finally starting to help, but I will have to say this cleanser is amazing. This is the Paula's Choice Hydrolite One-Step Facial Cleanser for Normal Oily Combination Skin. What it does, refreshing gel rinses clean, softens, and soothes skin, removes dirt and makeup. Our products are non-irritating, fragrance-free, and never tested on animals. And it's wonderful. It's just like a really nice light gel, but it does break up the makeup. And then I found a new makeup remover, and I love it love it okay so it's 
it, I think it's Bosha, 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 looks like this. There we go. And this, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And I got the trial size or the travel size. I got it online and it worked really well. I loved it. I think I ordered it through Ulta, maybe. And then the moisturizer I have been using, and I'm almost out of it, is the Paula's Choice Clear. It's a night oil-free moisturizer with vitamin B3 and blueberry for blemish-prone skin. Hydrates without clogging pores. Now, when I got this, I did not realize it was a nighttime one, but I used it every night. And then during the day, I'm using this. And this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. You guys know I love this. I've talked about it before. If you're really, really oily, oh, and I should say there's two different kinds. Oh my God, why are my arms burning? I can't talk to you guys without burning arms anymore. I'm gonna start working out. Let me move this over. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so there is two different kinds of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. There's one that is not fragrance-free. The one that is fragrance-free is for the extra dry skin. Now, I have oily skin, and this doesn't freak me out, so it's quite good, actually, and it's really gentle and very hydrating. I love it. Highly recommend it. This is turning into a weird favorites video right now, but this is, like, my absolute favorite body wash right now from Bath & Body Works. It's the Peppermint Essential Oil Aroma Therapy, and I love it. Maybe I'll save other stuff, because I have new makeup that I've been loving. I have new products that I've been loving. Maybe I'll save it for a favorite since... It's almost October. Ah, can you believe it's almost October, babe? It is almost October. Oh my God, our house is a disaster. It is an absolute mess in our living room because we just got back. So you think if you were gone for four days, they would be, it clean? Would be clean? Yeah, you would think. When you guys go on vacation and you come home, is it a mess or is it clean? I always love cleaning the house though. Well, right before we go. Yeah, I think it was clean before we left. Yeah. But. Not so much after we got back. No, it's like you come back and then everything that was in suitcases, like I still have two loads of laundry to do, which I've almost got it done. I got like four loads done yesterday and I washed our bedding because I love fresh bedding. Fresh, clean bedding is the best. And then it's just like everything that was in suitcases, like headphones, SD cards, shoes, boxes. It's just like this random stuff is all over the house. So I have to clean it. It's kind of driving me mad. <gasps> Larry's editing his photos. Oh, we should tell them. What should we about tell your them? catastrophe at the moment? Oh yeah. Okay, so we have a problem. I set up Larry's Instagram account a while ago, and the reason he has not uploaded a photo in quite a while is because we cannot get him in his Instagram account. When we went and got new phones, uh <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. The email doesn't make sense. It just, it's a mess. So there's no way to get into it. And for some reason, it's linked under my phone number. I guess because I made it, maybe I put my phone number. So when it sends me the code to my phone to get into his account, it opens Lexi's Instagram account, not his. I just don't get it. And the email associated with the account, I never created. So, but I would have had to because I made the account. But it's an account that we don't use. Neither one of us use it. So now I'm thinking, oh my God, like, Larry puts so much work into that Instagram account with his photos and his editing, and now we're having one heck of a time getting into it. So bear with him without posting. The reason he is not posting is because we can't get into his account, and we've been trying for a couple days now, and it's very frustrating. Yeah, it would, would be my 200th post, and... I have a picture in mind that I'd like to use if I can, but I don't know if it's going to happen. No, and we called Instagram. Well, that goes absolutely nowhere. <laughs> you call them and there's just, there's nothing. And they said that if you email them, odds are you're never going to get an email back. Basically, it's almost your fault if you don't remember the email and the phone number isn't linked correctly. There was an error. However I did it, I screwed it up and I've just, it's not good. Very bad. Besides that good news, <laughs> 911 came out. Our favorite show, or one of our favorite shows. Like, all these shows are coming out in the fall. Fall is among us. And we just saw some things that were, that 
We saw the actual things that's in the episode that just came out. Oh, yeah. If you guys watch 911, you would have seen that the preview for the new season, which they're on season three, takes pay takes pace takes, takes pace. place at Santa Monica Pier. It was so crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, we rode that Ferris wheel. Oh my gosh, we were on that pier. Like it was just crazy to see it. Yeah, all the rides and everything that we saw and rode on were all in that yeah that show and some of the buildings we saw in Studio City. Yeah, the triangle shaped there. buildings. Mm -hmm. There's two triangle shaped buildings that I put in my first Hollywood vlog. And those were actually designed by the same guy who designed the World Trade Center. So I thought that was really interesting. So 911, every time I watch it, you think it cannot get any crazier. If you guys don't know what 911 is, it's a TV show on Fox. And it's basically about a core group of paramedics slash firemen and uh, one police officer, one female police officer. And they pretty much just go from call to call. But there's also like their own family issues and things that they're going through plus dealing with the job and it's just, it's crazy. And you go on calls with them and they're the most bizarre, crazy. Every time I watch it, I get goosebumps. I'm like, how can I get goosebumps every single time? It's just that wild. Is there any other of our shows that are coming out? Mm, the Crown that? is supposed to be coming out, was it November? I think so. Very excited about and the crown. Homeland is supposed to be coming out, but I don't remember when that is. Ah! Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. Oh, did you guys watch the Emmys? We watched them. Well, we kind of didn't watch them. I was on the phone with my mom because we were in Hollywood when the Emmys were on. <laughs> I'm glad that Game of Thrones won Best Show. I'm so happy Peter Dinklage won Best Supporting Actor, I think it was. I don't. Remember. I think it was a supporting role. But I was very sad that Lena, Maisie, Sophie, and Amelia Clark did not win. I was very sad about it. Took it to heart a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I am going to end this video here. Larry and I are going to eat dinner. Eat. Should we watch Downton Abbey tonight? We I know could. I know we've seen it like 50 million times, but we'll, then we'll see it 50 million times in one. Yeah, cuz we're supposed to be meeting mom for breakfast tomorrow. We're going to go watch Downton the movie. So, I kind of want to get in the Downton mood by watching a few episodes. And tomorrow's video will be part 2. Yeah, you guys won't be seeing this video. It is currently Friday the I don't even know. It's Friday the 27th, so I think you guys are going to see this video on Monday because what you're going to see Saturday is actually part two of the Hollywood vlog. So you guys will see this video on Monday, and it's Friday now. Oh, so they'll, they'll get it Monday. Yeah, because I still have to edit. Um, I still have to edit the Hollywood vlog. I have to edit that right now because it's going up tomorrow. Do it now. Ah! No chili for you. No, no chili, no food, no Downton. No, I think I'm gonna eat chili and watch an episode of Downton. You have to eat before you edit. Yeah, then buckle down and get to editing. So I hope you guys like this super chatty vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to stay tuned on October 7th for when I can spill the beans spill the on what Larry and I were doing in Hollywood. And uh, we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Bye!